How's it going YouTube? Today we have another pass it or stack it video. One of my favorites to do and we're going to be talking about glucomanin. So this is a dietary fiber that people have been talking about using for weight loss. Uh, before we get started, all the links in the description uh, are ones that were used in this video. And I have a few links to some products on Amazon that I thought were a good option to include down here. So if you use that link below, I get a couple cents. So what is glucomanin? Glucomanin is a soluble dietary fiber derived from the root of a specific type of yam. Historically used for food and medicine in Asian culture, as a powdered form, it is able to absorb up to 50 times its weight in water, leading to it being used in the weight loss community as a bulking agent. Not bulking like you're trying to increase your caloric intake, but bulking as it increases volume. So this improves your satiety, decreases your caloric consumption, and regulates bowel movement. All important things for weight loss. But be careful, the quick acting volumetric increases has been associated with some dangerous issues in the past. So capsule form has been banned due to the fact that the capsule has shown to swell before reaching the stomach in some cases, causing esophageal obstruction. And in several ca cases it has caused death, but that is why capsule is illegal. You have to use a pill form that it's inside a plastic pill. So it gets to your stomach and then dissolves. So the outer layer will keep the glucomanin separate from the water until it's already in the stomach and ready to be expanded in a safe manner. I have a video down below that's linked of someone mixing it with certain amounts of water to show you how viscous this dietary fiber really gets. So WebMD states that glucomanin might work in the stomach and the intestines by absorbing water to form a bulky fibrous bolus, which treats constipation. It might also slow the absorption of sugar and cholesterol into the gut, helping to control blood sugar levels in people with diabetes and reduce cholesterol levels in patients with hypercholesterolemia. And this is what one of the papers linked below said, at doses of two to four grams per day, glucomanin was well tolerated and resulted in significant weight loss in overweight and obese individuals. For weight loss, a commonly recommended dosage of one gram three times per day, one hour before meals was recommended. Higher doses ranging from 3.6 to 13 grams per day have been recommended for managing type two diabetes, insulin resistance syndrome, and dyslipidemia, but that's not recommended for just weight loss. This study looked at patients that use this product for four to eight weeks plus in the absence of a hypocaloric diet. So this was isolated for glucomanin. Like a lot of the other things we look at, it wasn't like they did glucomanin and exercised and did a diet. No, this is, they did everything the same except they took glucomanin. So now we can actually look at the effect, right? And they lost on average five to six pounds within that four to eight weeks, only changing their glucomanin consumption, right? So consider this, diet and exercise, you would get even more results. So the longer studies didn't seem to show much more loss, but this can easily be explained by the fact that they did it in isolation. So the patient most likely were eating a certain amount of calories to maintain their weight. They started taking the glucomanin resulting in a lowered appetite and blocking some of the nutrients being absorbed in their gut, leading to a slightly lower net caloric intake, which lowered their weight over four to eight weeks, but their body got used to this new caloric intake and it stopped. So now you have to introduce a new stimulus, reduce your calories, up your exercise, uh, and that would be the next step. So consult your doctor before starting any new supplementation or medications, but glucomanin for me, due to the fact that it's just a yam root powder, definitely a natural supplement, I'm gonna say it is stack approved. One to three grams before your meals, 30 to 60 minutes before your meals, uh, and you have to drink it with eight ounces of water for it to actually have the water to create that bulk. I have a few links below, like I said before, for those Amazon products, if you wanted to check it out. I have a bunch of uh, links in the description for some papers I used when creating this video and some videos uh, that you can check out. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully this gave you some information that you can use. See you next time.